Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we'll discuss how to find the cardinality of a set involving set operations using a three-set Venn diagram. The regions of the Venn diagram on the left are labeled with cardinalities. This means that the numbers indicate the number of elements that are in each region. Use this information to determine the number of elements in the set S. S is the set A complement union B intersect C. The first thing we're going to do is label the regions with letters or Roman numerals as you prefer to avoid confusing the name of the region with the cardinality of the region. Now we're going to think about what we're looking for. We're looking for the number of elements in the set S or in other words the number of elements in A complement union B intersect C. So first we need to figure out what is A complement? Well we need to think what is not in A a is the set in red, which includes the regions A, B, C, and F. A complement is everything else. So a complement includes regions D, E, G, and H. Now what's in B? The second set that we need to use. B is the blue set. It includes A, B, D, and E. We also need to use C. What's in set C? C is the green set. C includes the regions A, C, D, and G. So these are the sets that we need to perform set operations on. The set operations union and intersection. We're going to replace A complement with what it's equal to, the regions D, E, G, and H. And we're going to replace B with what it's equal to, the regions A, B, D, and E. Now we find the union of DEGH with ABDE. Union means unite, put everything together into one big happy family. So we're left with ABDEGH. But remember, we still have to intersect it with C. So we replace C with what it's equal to, ACDG. Now intersection means the overlap, just like two streets intersect on a roadway, our two sets are going to intersect in the regions they have in common. In this case, the regions they have in common are A, D, and G. So S is equal to the regions A, D, and G. Shading that in, we get this area in purple. Now it's always good to stop and think about whether or not it makes sense what we ended up with. Could we have made a mistake? So in words, S is the set of the elements that are either not in A, or, union means or, are in B, and they have to be in C. The intersection, which means and, is very restrictive. We're saying that no matter what else, what other conditions hold, all the elements have to be in the green area, the set C but we also need them to either not be in A or be in B. Well that makes sense because the region A, little a, is in B and it's in C. The region D is in B and it's in C. The region G it is not in A but it is in C. Notice we did not include the region little c because it's in A and not in B. So it makes sense that we got this shaded region. But the question wasn't asking us which region. There are questions about Venn diagrams that do that, but our question was asking us about the cardinality of the set that is made up of those regions. So let's think about that. Now don't confuse A, D, and G with elements in those regions. In other words, don't think that the number of elements is going to be 3. Because remember, we labeled our regions A, D, and G, not the elements of the set. So the number of elements in the region little a is 5. 
the number of elements in the region little d is 4, and the number of elements in the region little g was 6. We have to add those together. And we see that we actually have 15 elements in that region. So that answers the question that we were asked.